Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Olympic Arms 96 pistol. This is a gun produced by Olympic Arms in 1996. It's pretty much in the name to kind of skirt around some of the assault weapons bans that was going on at the time. There's a whole uh, video dedicated to this on Ian McCollum's YouTube channel, Forgotten Weapons. Um, he's got some write-up articles on his own website, ForgottenWeapons.com, if you'd like to go check that shit out. I highly recommend it so you can get a little bit more context and backstory about why the weapon looks the way it does. So this is an AR-15-esque pistol. Um, this would pretty much actually be considered a pistol. Um, it's not a, there's no stock on it. Um, it's manufactured to be shot with one hand and it does not have um, the regular accoutrements that would kind of make it look like an assault rifle, if you will. This is in all black. I went with all black because I, I thought it would look better. This is what it looks like inside of LDD. This is my realistic AR-15 receiver, um, which you guys have all seen before. Uh, Ford Assist, Brass Deflector, Shell Ejection Port, Dust Cover, Trigger, uh, Fire Selector, Safety, all of that. Uh, it's all pretty basic, unchanged, nothing going on there. Regular AR-15-esque three-wide three -wide magazine. Uh, the changes actually come to the handguard up front, uh, which is this weird thing, as you can see here. Um, I did go for a little bit of the texture going on here using 6x6 six six plates, and then I've got um, bow slopes to form the rest of it. So there is a, just a slight little ledge here and there. No big deal. Uh, this is my different username's front gas block on his um, M16A1 uh, with the sling mount as well. Uh, this is one of my regular muzzle brakes. Uh, this does come up to our uh, gas rod, uh, gas tube right through here. Um, I did a little bit of a screw detail going on, but not too much. And then this does come to our charging handle. So the charging handle has been removed. The regular T handle that would usually be right about here in this slot has been removed and instead replaced with this a reciprocating charging handle, so you can pull this back. This is connected to the bolt via just a very quick linkage down to the top. And there is a three side rail up on top. Not too much to talk about because this is all stuff that you guys have ended up seeing before. Um, this is just a really fun side project to build because it looks pretty cool for what it is, honestly. It skirts around some laws um, and it did what it needed to do. It did not sell very well. Uh, but it was very cool looking for its time. And you can still find these things out there, um, though their prices are a little higher now than what they were before. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. If you guys want to get in touch with me and see some models behind the scenes, don't be afraid to check out my Discord. Thanks for watching.